10 Amazing Health Benefits of Manuka Honey Manuka is a unique type of honey that's made in New Zealand and Australia by honeybees that pollinate a plant called the Manuka Bush. Manuka honey is now very popular and it's known worldwide for its natural healing properties as it contains a powerful active ingredient called MGO. The difference between manuka and regular raw honey is that the regular honey is made by bees that take nectar and pollen from many many different flowers. However, manuka honey is made almost exclusively from manuka flowers, which contain some unique and healing ingredients in its nectar and pollen, and the bees take these back to the beehive and produce this amazing honey. In fact, studies show us that manuka contains at least four times more nutrients than regular raw honey. As you can see here, it contains amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein, a range of different minerals, B vitamins, and also the healing phytochemicals which come from the manuka flowers. So for example now, if you take a look online or in health food stores at a jar of manuka honey, you'll find a grading number called UMF graded anywhere between 1 to 20. This unique manuka factor, or UMF, is what makes the honey much more powerful than other types of honey in terms of its antimicrobial properties. Basically, the higher the UMF rating, the more healing chemicals that the manuka honey contains. People have actually been using raw manuka honey now for around 200 years as a natural medicine and it's well documented today for its healing capabilities. In this video, we'll be exploring the top 10 amazing health benefits of using manuka honey at home and also how to use it. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first and most popular use for manuka is treating a sore throat or a cough. You can use one teaspoon of raw manuka honey three times per day if you're suffering from a sore throat, a cough, or any upper respiratory infection. Studies show us that manuka acts as a broad-spectrum antibiotic, helping to kill off over 50 different harmful microbes that may be causing your sore throat or your cough. As this honey has a very thick consistency, it runs down your throat and forms a gentle coating that helps to soothe and heal the inflamed tissues. On this topic, the second benefit is overall immunity support. Your immune system is a collection of natural defences in your body that help you to fight off different infections and diseases. Now, studies show that manuka honey is highly concentrated with these plant chemicals that have some complicated names, but basically these phytochemicals speed up your white blood cells, specifically your T cells, which protect you from all kinds of infections and diseases. In fact, manuka honey is often used to treat MRSA, a type of superbug that's become resistant to antibiotic medications, and it's often caught in hospitals. Manuka honey has the ability to kill off the harmful staph bacteria that causes this staph infection. Up next is benefit number three, gut health. I often talk about how table sugar and high fructose corn syrup is added to processed foods which can damage the lining of your gut and cause an overgrowth in bad bacteria. Although it's sweet, however, manuka honey is very interesting because it has the opposite effect. You see, when you consume a little manuka, it actually helps to feed the friendly microbes that live in your gut because it's a prebiotic. Fructooligosaccharides in the honey feed your friendly bacteria, and this prevents bad bacteria from latching on and thriving inside your gut. Manuka honey is very effective for helping people who suffer with irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and also gastritis because it restores the normal balance of bacteria inside your gut. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Right, let's come back now to benefit number four, fighting stomach ulcers. Another problem that many people suffer with are ulcers in their stomachs or intestines. What happens is, they get an overgrowth of this bad bacteria, one of which is called Helicobacter pylori. 
This damages the protective mucus layer in your stomach and digestive tract. This causes the inner skin of your body to become damaged and ulcers can begin to form which can cause pain when anything touches them, such as food that you've swallowed for example. Manuka is amazing because it helps to destroy this bad bacteria whilst also helping to directly heal the ulcers and restore the lining of the stomach and intestines. As a side note, if you do have an ulcer, zinc carnosine is a Japanese supplement that's very effective to use alongside the manuka. Benefit number 5 is wound healing. Manuka honey is also an FDA approved treatment for treating bed sores, skin ulcers and wounds in the form of a dressing. You can simply apply the manuka honey directly to the wound, cut, scrape or sores gently using a cotton swab and then cover it with a bandage. This is a natural antiseptic which helps to heal your skin and prevent skin infections due to the powerful plant compounds it contains. Benefit number 6 is other skin problems. Manuka honey is also well known for clearing up symptoms of acne, pimples and eczema. This can be mixed with a few drops of tea tree oil and applied directly to your skin for a few minutes and then washed off if you have pimples or acne. If you have eczema on the other hand, you may want to mix manuka honey with a little shea butter and let this sit on your skin for 1-2 to two hours before washing it off. This will help to bring down the inflammation and rehydrate the skin. Benefit number 7 is fighting inflamed eyelids or blepharitis. Many people develop this infection in the glands near their eyelashes which causes their outer eyelids to become reddened, irritated, crusty and itchy. Often antibiotic creams are prescribed by doctors to treat this but in many cases they simply don't work. A little manuka can be mixed into one cup of boiling water and then allowed to cool down completely. This cooled liquid is then gently applied to the sore eyelids two or three times per day until the swelling comes down and the infection is cleared. Number 8 is Dental Health Regular sugar can be very damaging to your mouth because it makes the mouth acidic causing tooth decay, dental plaque, periodontal disease and gingivitis. However, although manuka honey is very sweet, it's actually been shown to prevent these dental problems due to its powerful antibacterial properties. It's often added to these lozenges and chews that you can get to improve oral health and reduce gum bleeding and plaque. The ninth benefit is fighting allergies. Manuka is actually a well known remedy to help reduce hay fever and other types of allergies because it helps to modulate the immune system and regulate histamine release. Basically, it makes you less sensitive to certain irritants like pollen and fungus which could be triggering an allergic reaction. As a side note here, if you do have hay fever, you may consider consuming regular raw honey which is much cheaper once or twice per week year round. What this does is it helps your immune cells to get used to having pollen in your system which in turn reduces the allergic response. Finally, let's talk a little bit about stress and sleep. When you're stressed out, your body releases high levels of adrenal hormones that give you energy and make you feel that nervous feeling. In short bursts, this is fine for the body, however if you're stressed for long periods, your hormones and your brain chemicals start to become out of balance, causing chronic stress and sleeping problems. Manuka honey contains certain aromatic compounds from the manuka flowers which will help to calm down the stress in your body, helping to feel more relaxed and get a better night's sleep. This in turn will help you to feel more calm the following day but more energetic without that nervous tension that's locked up in your body. Now I'll help you understand the types of manuka and how to use it. First of all, please make sure that when you purchase a jar of manuka that the label clearly states that there is at least 10 UMF on the jar. Many brands will often try to confuse you by putting the MGO content on the jar instead but it's important to look for the letters UMF or unique manuka factor for strength. The higher the UMF, the more concentrated it is with its healing properties. Also make sure that your chosen brand is raw and unpasteurized. This is vitally important 
as if the honey has been heated or cooked, it will not have the same properties. It should also be clearly stated that the honey originates from New Zealand, because this is where the UMF grading system is in force. If the UMF on the jar is higher than 15, use only one teaspoon at a time as it's extremely powerful. You can use a little more if the UMF is lower. In fact, a UMF between 4 to 9 is an excellent maintenance level honey, whereas 10 to 15 plus is more for healing things. Whenever you're using it for natural healing, the dosage is usually between 1 to 3 teaspoons per day, which can be used directly off the spoon. Alternatively, you can add it to cooled herbal teas, drizzle it in yogurt, drizzle it over fruit, or have it in a glass of water with some apple cider vinegar. It actually works very well when it's added to ginger and lemon water, another one of my favourite healing tonics. If you'd like to learn more about this amazing drink, go ahead and tap on this video on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today, and as always, I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness.